Uh, hello traders, uh, today is the 26th of uh, September 2010 and uh, happy weekend to you all. Uh, this video is about the FTSE index, okay? The London Stock Exchange uh, FTSE index uh, representing the 100 blue chip stocks, a major stock, the 100 major stocks on the London Stock Exchange, okay? And then last weekend, uh, I was uh, showing you uh, this um, uh, index as uh, the market uh, leading indicator in the market because uh, it displays here what we call uh, uh, a head and shoulder pattern. There's one shoulder here where my cursor is rotating, and this uh, level here, another shoulder here. It does not mean that the market will definitely go down but it give us something to look at and to pay attention to that this candle here where my cursor is is last week candle and as you can see the price did not the price went below a little bit as you can see it went a little bit below the closing price of last week and then the funny support and went back above in this uh, uh, up again okay closing okay to the high of the previous week that's bullish okay so last week when I was doing this video we were on this candle here when the market closed around this region of 5499 okay but uh, when the new week has begun the week that has closed now okay the market went below a little bit because a lot of bear were watching this pattern of uh, uh, in uh, head and shoulder if you can look carefully here and they were trying to sell and the index went below a little bit only to find a, a, a support and return back up also plus some uh, news coming from united states that's what i'm talking about the music has changed suddenly there was some a bit of good news on friday regarding the market in united states and uh, the market was uh, rising non-stop and this is the situation here that's why the market closed up like this but if you look carefully here uh this uh, channel here the price was in this channel very bullish right in the upper part of this channel as you can see and then pop below it he traced back but fell to cross uh, was uh, riding only in the middle session and then suddenly collapse okay he collapsed uh, from uh, i will draw my uh, another fibonacci line here for you okay so we know how far this thing collapsed okay so the movement that has started from here all the way here the price uh, collapsed uh, up to the 38% uh, Fibonacci retracement level, okay? That's uh, where uh, the market uh, went to, okay? So I will clear my last Fibonacci line so we don't have too much mix on this chart here. So when the price started the movement, the up movement from March 2009 all the way here, okay, this year, uh, again around uh, April 2010, uh, the market uh, uh, found a resistance here and came down up to the 38% Fibonacci retracement level. Now it's going back up. We believe that this, uh, uh, do this uh, FTSE index, if it cross above this zone here where my cursor is, the next resistance level is this level of uh, 5799. Okay, if it managed to get there, we will see whether it will get there or not. But this is uh, a kind of weakness in the market. We'll monitor carefully this uh, uh, FTSE index because this is a leading uh, index in the market, very important uh, index in the market, representing a hundred stock in London, a leading indicator in the market. You cannot afford to disregard, very important. So right now, what do we need to do? Uh, we just watch the price because we know we are in a key zone. This will be excellent opportunity to day trade, okay? If you come to the uh, region of, uh, uh, I would say, 5790, we will definitely look for opportunity to sell there, okay? And we expect it to create a double top pattern, okay? Look carefully on this chart. This is the FTSE index chart. I will show you quickly the chart of... Uh, uh, gold okay that's why i'm saying to you this this index is a very powerful uh, uh index okay and also it's a leading indicator if you want to to trade or if you want to remain in the stock market and trade like a pro you need to pay attention to everything that i'm showing you here 
okay it went up you see and then it collapsed down to 38 percent and then went back up again we will see what will happen the berry season is not finished yet okay even though the market will rise you will rise but remember that it's not finished yet okay very important okay so you know exactly what to do and uh, now i'm going to show you the gold chart the gold chart that i showed you before i did a very excellent video today uh about gold uh, gold and the future of gold this is the chart i was showing you about gold this is the gold rising the channel like our FTSE index is in the same channel like FTSE is there and i was telling you that gold has a chance to retrace back like the FTSE index to 38 percent exactly right there okay we are expecting gold to come to the region of one two four three okay you can mark it down we want it to come down a healthy pullback the uptrend of the gold is not finished yet but we are expecting gold to drop from the current level of one to nine six down to one two four three zone which is the 38 percent fibonacci resonance of all this uptrend movement and then to retrace back to uh, this level again near the to to go from the 38 percent level and to go up to one two nine zero if it can get there because the bearish pressure will be on if it start the second movement going to this direction uh, this is what i'm telling you this is the gold chart now and as i say to you i will show you again the FTSE in this chart the weekly chart this is again the weekly chart the one i showed you before was the weekly chart of gold and you see exactly gold is repeating this uh, in this direction nicely and this index is quite ahead exactly you see here when it, when the, the, the foot index was riding the middle line here you see here that's where gold is now okay it's riding the middle and we are expecting gold to repeat the what uh, the the FTSE index has done it does not mean that it will happen by all means but this is just information we need to be aware of and pay attention to if it's happening we will take advantage of it and fill our pocket nicely okay but if the music has changed we will follow the price the number one indicator so like i can show you now the middle line here where the FTSE was riding before collapsing to the 38 percent that's exactly where our lovely gold is now you see it's riding the middle line it does not mean that it will do exactly what the FTSE index has done depending on the news that are coming in the market the market sentiment but with this information we can be aware of the likelihood of the gold pulling back and if we see it pulling back we know exactly what to expect as you can see here we are expecting to come back to 38 percent and to push it back as the FTSE index has done here the FTSE index retrace back down if i draw another trend line here for you by the way if you do not know who we are we are the tstw24 traders if you want to go and know more about us you need to go to wwwstochastic uh, macdcom where ordinary traders are busy copying and learning to trail a professional trader in order to achieve consistent winning trade as you can see the the, the FTSE index came out of the box okay so to speak it came out of this box okay this channel this uh, rising momentum it went up exactly repeating exactly what the the the, the goal is doing goal pull back like this funny support went back and riding nicely on the edge of the middle channel like i show you if we go back again and see gold so you can compare the two uh, chart carefully this is a weekly chart riding you see it pulled back also here gold pulled back right here also now it's riding the middle one the FTSE index is ahead of all the indices and as gold also as you can see if a goal if we are expecting gold to pull back to 38 percent like the FTSE index before continuing the movement to the upside we will see whether that will happen or not it's not guaranteed but uh, we will watch carefully the likelihood this thing happened before in the past is likely to happen again in order to know the future we can use the past something has happened we learn from it and then we try to observe if the same thing is likely to happen again we take advantage of it that's simple as that so we are expecting this uh, foot in there to come near this zone of uh, 5799 and to fire resistance and to create a nice uh, double top here okay or whatever is doing here and then to come back again all the way down to this level to create where my cross is rotating okay so we expect it to come from this level to find a resistance there and to retrace back down all the way to this low level here where my cursor 
is rotating to create a nice double bottom that will create the end of uh, <laughs> I mean uh, signal the weakness of the bearish season where people will start looking for opportunity to buy for long term so this is about uh, the FTSE index okay and the stock market in general how you can play this uh, uh, game uh, carefully in order to maximize your profit okay i hope you enjoy this video also and uh, that you will put into practice in order to maximize your profit until the next time enjoy yourself and uh, be very very happy thank you